Well, 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 let's talk a little bit more and let's talk about Ireland, who is climbing on the odds. I didn't even realize that Ireland is number 10, I think, on the odds. Ireland is climbing up and uh, apparently they have released a new version of Doomsday Blue by Bam Bambi Thug. And uh, yeah, let's talk about that when she was hosting the Late 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 show. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe before we begin. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share a like, share the video, or just send some love. And before we begin with this, <laughs> is there a beef between, a little bit of a teeny tiny beef between um, uh, Bambi Thug and Vivi Blogs? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't realize that this is old news, but apparently they had a little bit teeny tiny beef between each other. Uh, I think they have resolved it, but I was like... Okay, and I think it all comes down to how you handle criticism because apparently Bambi Thang was not pleased with how two members of BB Blocks was commenting on her song. And let's read what they said. Uh, I don't know, Antranik? Antranik? Uh, I don't know who you are, but apparently you're part of BB Blocks, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna read the comments. Uh, part of Doomsday Blue, feel like the world is about to end, we are about to drag into the underworld, and I'm here for that. However, this song might just have underwhelming, and, I mean there are parts of the text I don't see, so I'm guessing how they were saying this. Just have an underwhelming chorus that I've heard in any song, is neither here or there, feeling like completely different songs smash into one. It is not an organic marriage, leaving overall package judge, je, leaving overall package rather jarring, disjointed, difficult to join. I want more doomsday, but I'm left feeling blue. Okay, I mean here's the thing. When I, I mean when I talk about songs here, and I'm not the biggest fan. Let's see Belgium. I mean let's see Belgium, and I usually say the the parts of the song I like, but then I also say how I will actually fix the song. This comment to me was like, this is what this is what is bad. But the, the, man, the person didn't say anything good about the song. So I was like, you can say this, but then came with the fix also. Uh, and this person gave a 2.5 uh, score. I don't know, uh, I guess of, out of 10. Because this comment in a 1 to 5 score would be a 1. But I guess out of 10. And the member Pablo said, I'm not mad, just disappointed. One would think Sweden... One would think Sweden tying the record would um, would Ireland in would I guess pushing Ireland into wanting better, but giving the giving the worst produced song of the year a muddy, more barely intel intelligible song with little appeal. It wasn't the move to make to put it lightly. Just something is risky doesn't mean it has to be a rewarded something. Sometimes think a risk are a uh, truly not truly what them um, to make doomsday blue work, but it feels like Ireland has completely uh, I guess lost it, and I'm not sure how much it takes to get back on track a two score. Um, um, this is the thing. If you're gonna give criticism, tell them how to fix it. This to me just criticism, but they are not giving, providing anything that can actually improve the song. I mean, let's also, let's for this one take Malta. I mean, I have been singing about Sara, Sara Bonici's um, loop song, and I have been giving, I want this one, this, this, and this. And let's see, let, we can all see her journey in how she has actually improved. I mean, some said that she's watching my videos. I was like, thank you, girl. But you can also say that. But I tried to, when I react to this, give a critique and a fix. Because I think that is the most fair thing to do. These two comments to me is just criticism, but nothing else. So, <laughs> Bambi Thug was apparently very, very angry about this one. And I can understand, but girl... You are entering one of the biggest music competitions in the world. 
learn to just water up the duck's bag. Just take Jinx Monsoon's take on this the water of a duck's back. And uh, she said on April 15, five days ago, Dear Pablo and Antrinag, Antrinag um, at Vivi Blocks, your taste in art are laughably uneducated. I match your personal playlist are the same as it what it is played at all the norm core clubs, the cool. Mm, queers avoid girl and uh, and if you go into her twitter account this is from her twitter they i mean people are yeah uh yeah i mean people are very divisive in the comments section from her because people be like yeah i drag them and people be like but isn't that the point of your vision that we have all different opinions and it is okay to have that I totally see. I see both sides. I can understand she's a little bit angry at the fact that they are just giving criticism but no fix. I was like, yeah, but if you're gonna give her criticism, give a fix of how to improve the song. That's how you grow. But anyway, people are saying that this new version of the Late 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 Show is a new approved song. So I was like, okay, girl, let's see what you got. Let's see Bambi Thog. First, my next guest. Raised eyebrows and the roof in this studio when they won our Eurosong final back in January. So much it's so long ago. Priest from the pulpit saying we were finished. We were finished as a country. No. We were. Since then, the Eurovision odds have been slashed to the point where, say it quietly, we might actually even win it this year. Oh. Okay, big words, big that words. The Lord works in mysterious ways, folks. Here with a very special remix of Ireland's Eurovision remix. entry, Doomsday Blue. Would you please welcome Bambi Thug? Hmm. Oh, yeah, she did also talk about um, the boycotts and apparently about pre, uh, pre, pre pre planning for this uh, Eurovision. I was like, okay. I didn't watch that, but I saw the headlines. Like a dove, I speak to destroy the feelings I have. I can't when she did, de when did she became Nora Jones? Hex, oh, Katie Malua, or Lady Gaga? That all the pretties in your bed escape your hands and make you sad. And all the things you wish you had, you lose. Oh, wow. I, I know you're living a lie. I see the scars in your eyes. I know you're living a lie. I'm gonna say way better version. I guess I always overestimate you. Who do all the things that you do? Yeah, I can see what people say, say that this little bit is it's a little bit gaga. Cadaver, the thoughts in my head, the places I touch when lying in bed, the visions of you, the words that you said undo. My heartbeat buried in the ground, and to its strings I bind your bounds. So when you sleep, you'll hear my sound. That's a voice. The scars in your eyes. I know you're living a lie. A lie. I guess you'd rather have a star than the moon. Wow. I guess I always overestimate you. Isn't it funny when you take down all the craziness and strip down it and basically she's playing the piano, the song became way better. <laughs> I was like, girl, this is amazing. But this is this the version she's gonna sing? 
or this is just the piano version of the one. Wow. It went from craziness to a romantic movie score. All under five minutes. I'm very impressed. I guess you'd rather have a star than the moon. I guess I always overestimate you. Wow. I mean, I mean, girl, I think this version was beautiful. I mean, it's a crazy the fact that when you strip away all the craziness and you just have her sitting at the piano and singing the song and playing it herself, the song became actually very nice. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I gotta say, this version was actually very beautiful. It was a little, little bit weird to hear the lyrics, a little bit, okay, this is a calm, soothing moment on her piano, and then you listen to the lyrics and be like, okay. I mean, this to me was the best version of this song in her best performance I've seen. And uh, yeah, I can say this version was very, very beautiful. So good for you. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Bambi Thug.